Magandang araw po sa ating lahat. This is uh, Captain Mark Lester Katunggal, Philippine Army Reserve. Uh, in this video, we will tackle the topic, paano ba maging isang reservist? And I will divide this content into three parts. Unang-una, sasagutin natin yung katanungan na yan for individuals who have already finished ROTC program. Ito po yung mga individuals na nakapag-ROTC na. Second part would be individuals who have no uh, previous uh, basic military training gaya ng ROTC. So, paano ba maging isang reservist kung hindi kayo nakapag-ROTC? Pangatlo, paano maging isang reservist kung kayo ay uh, isang licensed professional? Ibig sabihin, you have uh, you possess a license from PRC or you have uh, acquired um, eligibility uh, given by the uh, Civil Service Commission. So if you ever like the video, you may uh, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell for future videos. So this part of the video is going to focus on the first part that I have mentioned kanina uh, which is about individuals who have already uh, finished basic uh, military training kagaya ng uh, ROTC program. So yung ROTC program, it's one of the programs under NSTP. So yun yung uh, National Service uh, Training Program. So, our NSTP program has three components. So, meron siyang ROTC, CWTS, and LTS. So, ROTC, Reserve Officer Training Corps, CWTS, Civic Welfare Training Service, and LTS, uh, Literacy Training Service. So, an, an academic institution should be able to offer one or two of these components. In other words, other institutions offer CWTS and ROTC at the same time. So, it depends on the learner, it depends on the student, saan siya pupunta. Okay? Now, if you want to be a reservist, you should be able to finish the Reserve Officer Training Corps Program under NSTP. So, kailangan natapos mo yun. But then, like I said, uh, our the second part of the video is going to focus Paano naman yung mga individuals na hindi nakapagtapos ng ROTC program o walang ROTC program back then? Because there were institutions that do not offer ROTC program. So dun sa mga nagtatanong how to become a reservist na nakapagtapos na ng ROTC program, uh, you should be able to know this already but uh, for the information of everyone, if you were able already to finish ROTC program, you are already reservists. So, ibig sabihin, reservist na kayo. Uh, you belong to the category of uh, uh, standby reserve. So, sa ating uh, bansa, meron tayong tinatawag na classifications of uh, reservists. So, we have ready reserve, standby reserve, and retired reserve. Now, in case you want to become members of the uh, Ready Reserve, ang gagawin po natin, uh, we need to visit our community defense center dun po sa ating location and then we need to um, have our name listed on the reserve, uh, Ready Reserve uh, force. So, kailangan, you need to be able to bring with you your order, yung serial number mo upon graduating ROTC program and have your name uh, listed on the Ready Reserve Infantry Battalion. So, ang gagawin namang, uh, visit your community defense center and then uh, you, can you can inquire for uh, further processes uh, doon sa CDC and have your name listed on the Ready Reserve Infantry Battalion or the Ready Reserve Force ng uh, uh, yung CDC o ng uh, RCDG uh, dyan sa location niyo. So, doon sa mga nagtatanong, paano maging isang reservist, uh, just to make sure that we answer it properly, kung nakapagtapos na po kayo ng ROTC program, right away, you become reservists. 
So after finishing your ROTC, uh, that is uh, equivalent to uh, one full school year, no? So first semester and then second semester, right away, uh, you need to be able to get your enlistment order. So uh, the order will contain your name and then your serial number. So doon sa serial number na yon, that proves that you are indeed a reservist of the Army Reserve Command of the Philippine Army. So, uh, ang difference lamang is that right away, after graduating ROTC, you become member, a member of Standby Reserve, which is one of the classification, one of the classifications of uh, Army Reserve Force. So, the first one is Ready Reserve, the second one is Standby Reserve, and the third one is Retired Reserve. So, if you really want to become members of the Ready Reserve, so we can think of the Ready Reserve as the... Uh, Kumbaga, front line ng reserve unit. So, whatever services uh, CDC or the, that particular RCDG would like to offer pertaining to their function and roles, then it's the ready reserve uh, who shall uh, provide those services. So, if you really want to participate, if you really want to volunteer in the name of uh, uh, patriotism, then you can visit your CDC and have your name listed on the ready reserve force. Now, this means that you no longer have to undergo yung BCMP training. So, yung Basic Citizen Military Training. Yung uh, BCMP or uh, SBCMP, Special Basic Citizen Military Training, are given to individuals who have no, uh, who have no uh, previous uh, basic military training kagaya ng ROTC. So, in other words, you no longer have to undergo BCMT or SBCMT. All you have to do is uh, make sure you uh, get a copy of your enlistment order and uh, yung nga, yung serial number mo. So that proves that you have um, uh, finished your ROTC program. So again, if you have already uh, completed the uh, ROTC back in the days, you are already researched a reservist member of the standby reserve force so if you ever uh, find this video helpful or informative please share it and uh, again you can subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell ito po again ang inyong lingkod at ng laang kawal Captain Mark Lasser Katunggal Philippine Army Reserve uh, stay safe and salamat po for uh, checking on this video para naman po sa mga individuals na walang ROTC program uh, you can check on the description na uh, uh, area. Uh, andun po nakalagay yung link para sa ating mga individuals na nagtatanong paano maging reservist pero wala silang uh, previous mili basic military training kagaya ng ROTC. Meron po tayong alternative or way para dyan.